Give me all your money. Give me all your money. Give me all your money. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm losing my patience. Hurry up. What is that? Give me everything in your pocket. All right, guys, so what you just saw there was a video where I was the one that was getting mugged and I got my throat sliced. Fortunately, it was fake for me. But what you saw happen is that the knife went across the throat here. The guy said, give me your money, give me your money. He wasn't happy. I had $2 in one pocket. I had $1 in the other pocket. He's pissed off. You don't know if he's a drug-induced guy. There's something wrong with him. Obviously, there's something wrong with him if he wants to hold you. And there's even something more wrong with you if he's angry and just kills you and you drop on the ground. So what do you do when the knife goes across the throat? So once he puts that knife against my throat, I know that a knife can cut two ways. It can either slice or it can poke. So now it can slice this way, it can slice this way, or it can poke this way. So if I understand that, if he pushes on me really hard, he's not doing anything to me. But right? if you take a knife like this and you start pushing it down on a tomato, and you try and try it at your house, Take a tomato, push down really hard. You gotta have a really, really, really sharp knife to cut through that tomato. Usually you just squash the tomato. But if you take it and just pull a little bit, you cut it. Sort of like when you shave. If I shave, no nicks. How do you get a nick? I'm, I'm in a rush, so just shave, and I wanna move over here and just slice and shave. I got myself a nick. As long as I pull straight down, man, I don't care how sharp it is, you can push, 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 and nothing happens. Now he puts the knife on me, and he says, hands up, but what do you have in your pocket? If I, if I take money out, I put it right here. When I'm right here, I'm really close to this hand. I'm really close to that hand, I can do something. If I don't know what to do when I grab it here, what's he gonna do? Drop that and start stabbing and cutting. So I can't do that. So what, what can I do? The first thing I gotta do is I gotta take this knife from this direction and turn it up and down. Really, really, really easy to do, right? Once it's on my throat, I just have my right hand go up to the top here and my left hand grab the knife and turn it and put it into my right hand, into the Y of the hand. So you'll see what happens. Again, from this side, I have this hand is just grabbing close, grabbing close. As he's pushing, and if he pushes me, so as he does that, he's pointing down. This other hand, they both go here. This one goes right back to my chest. It has a Y. Y is really nice because the Y fits right here. If it's a double-edged knife, don't grab it close to the, to the edge. Grab it on the hand and pop the arm. All right, so when the knife goes on me and he pushes me, I'm here. I have him. He's dead. He's done for right now. Anytime I want, I just go down and he's down. When he goes on, hands are up. Hands are up. Grab wrist. Grab the wrist. Don't grab the wrist high because if you grab the wrist high, you can't turn it over. If you grab it high, you can only turn it over a little bit. He's strong this way. He's not strong this way. This way I have him anytime I want. Keep it really tight, man. It doesn't matter. It comes out. If I have it this way, keep it really tight. I can't do that. The knife is going against my thumb. It starts to cut. I can't do that. Once I take the knife this way and hold here, I have it. It comes right out. It doesn't matter how big you are. And it just goes and it starts cracking. I don't know if you hear the cracking there, but I felt the cracking. So he just goes and turns it, and he has it. So when he puts it on again, I just take this knife and I turn it into my hand. I have it tight here. Now I have fulcrums and levers. Okay? This is a fulcrum here. This is a lever, this big long thing here. So I just push up. I hold it down, down with this, up with this. Okay, same with this, that's a fulcrum, and this is a lever, this thing that's going out here. I hold it here. I push down with this hand, up with this hand. It's pain there. So now I put pain here and pain here, double pain. The knife comes right out. I have the knife, he doesn't. So as soon as he puts that on me, how does that go? I go here, bang, down, if I want to. I never want to take the knife and throw the knife away and now I'm going to fight with him. And you'll see guys do that. You don't want to do that. So the way that you practice is you practice everything soft. I have to practice it softly. Because if he keeps it tight, and I, I'm going to get it. I don't care. Keep the hand as tight as you want. I'm still going to get it. I can go fast. This way. Here. Don't go back fast. Because it'll pop. It's a little soft. And cut. I put it on him. You can just stand there and go here. But that's not what we're doing. This time what we're doing is cut, break, hit. Cut, break. All right. 
put the arm on, I drop the arm, push the hand, cut, reach, here, step in, there's pain, big pain, be careful with the pain, try not to use any muscle on that, I don't have to use anything, I can just turn his hand. He's there. He doesn't like that too much. <laughs> I don't like that too much. So just go back and forth. There. So now if you guys come and say, give me your money. Give me your money, man. Oh, man, there. It's that fast, right there. And if you don't know, you don't know. And once you know that, it just goes. It just goes. And we'll just have it so we can take it out and do stuff like that. You can do whatever you want to him. We have 13 different ways to take it away from knife to crush your throat. This is just the first basic move. Always remember to put your hands where the knife is. The knife is there, my hands are going here. If I take money out, I say, I'll give you money. I take money out, you show him money, and I'm right there. If he says hands up, as my hands go up, they don't go back down. But now when they go back down and try to grab for it, what's he doing? He's just cutting, just slicing straight down. So as soon as he says hands up, okay, I got it, it's over. He can't pull it out. He can't pull it out. It's not happening. Once he has my hand, I can't pull it out. If I try to pull it out, he just puts pain on it. And that's what he wants. Try that. You have to keep this hand vertical. Up and down. Up and down. If you look at the video that says gooseneck, you'll see how to, put, how to put a hand into a gooseneck position this way, up and down. And it'll teach you that. It'll teach you the whole thing about how to do that. Once you do it this way, go to gooseneck, up and down. Once up and down is this way, he pops. I don't care how big you are. If he's got me like that, it doesn't matter how big I am. He just has that. He just has it going. It doesn't matter. He has all control going this way. We have a video that will show you exactly how to do gooseneck. It will show you exactly how to do corner dash. It will show you exactly how to do pistol grip. And you're going back into gooseneck and into a finger and back this way. You can take them down. So again, pop. So again, head. Give me your money. Man. Man. That's how fast we come. Give me your money, man. Peace, man. You don't care, you'll pop it off that fast. Have fun with that, give it a shot, look at the video over and over and over again, practice with your mother, father, brother, sister, or friend.